Niranjan Hiranandani, the MD of Hiranandani groups. Remember, the finance minister did talk about the infra push that the government wants to give. Mr. Hiranandani uh, speaks on his views on India's roadmap across sectors. Let's talk to him and understand what his first reaction is to this interim budget that has been presented today. Mr. Hiranandani, thank you very much for speaking with Mirror Now. Your first reaction on the interim budget. I think fantastic uh, forward-looking budget, uh, giving a full assessment of what they want to do backwards while talking about whatever they have done in the past, also saying forward what they want to do. For example, in the housing sector, they're already talking about two crore houses in the next five years. They're talking about infrastructure of the cities, of uh, the highways, and uh, huge investment. They're talking about the fiscal deficit coming there and creating a Vixit Bharat by 2047. All these four or five statements is fantastic because there is there. The affordable housing segment had taken a hit. So this PMAY scheme coming back into action with uh, two crore houses, 20 million houses, I think is going to be a huge difference. And to bring back the affordable segment back into the market because in the last six, 12 months, the affordable segment had taken a hit. So while the middle income housing and uh, um, luxury housing had moved upwards, in the last six, eight months, we did see that the, we are not saying that the affordable house segment was not doing well. It was doing well, but there was no increment as compared to the other segment. So this, I think, is a clear-cut indication of that. And overall, talking about uh, you know the developed market and then specifying specifically as to what the components will be, for example, roads, like for example, uh, uh, ports, airports, uh, highways, everything, industry, manufacturing, uh, I think all that. And plus, of course, the social benefits required to meet the poorest of poor in every segment. I think all that put together really indicates that they are going to do both sides. We are going to see the development side as well as the social commitment side. Mr. Hiran Nandani, um, you know, one of the talking points is the government's plan to launch a scheme to help the middle class buy or build their own houses, essentially making housing affordable. Your perspective on that, Mr. Hiran Nandani? See, the point is very simple. Uh, uh, in uh, the middle class is of both the segments of the affordable segment as well as the middle level segment in housing. And I think that lower part of it is uh, was taken care of by the PMAY scheme and that interest subsidy. So two things changed. One is that the PMAY scheme got over and the interest rates have gone up. It used to be 6.5% for housing. It has now come to 8.7%. Now, that 2%, 2.2% increase in interest rates is not affordable because it's almost 20% increase in the hike of the interest. It's, it's just not possible. All the people in that segment are affected, those especially those with the fixed income. So that is the issue that needs to be addressed. Number two, uh, when the original assessment was done for this housing, in the, the first PMAY scheme, we had assessed the total requirement as three, uh, 30 million, which is three crores, which has been fulfilled. Now we realize that we need much, much more in order to take care of the country. And that is why this addition of uh, two crore houses or 20 million houses is being sought for in the next five years. So it was an assessment which was less uh, rather than that. And probably if that time we had assessed at 50 million houses or five crore houses, they would have been hesitant to take off the scheme at that time. So I think the interest rate uh, hike has affected the affordable segment more. And even if the subsidy works, we will still have certain segment of the economy which will not be able to buy the houses and for which interest rates will also have to come down, which we hope in 2024 it will happen. Mr. Hiran Nandani, as you speak about the real estate sector, you also mentioned a word, Vikasit Bharat, which did come up several times in the budget speech as well. Now, there is a push for infrastructure and the need for development. What is your view on India's roadmap across sectors? I think it's fantastic. Uh, uh, she was very, very, very clear as to the direction in which the economy will go. What are the segments they have already done? 
in the last 10 years, nine years, and what they are going to do in for way, the way forward. Also, the investments into infrastructure, which mm. is further increased, I think that's going to be an extremely important thing. And keeping the fiscal discipline is going to be a double multiplier effect in the economy. And uh, if you want to actually go to a double digit GDP growth, which is what she did not mention, but if you have to reach the idea of Vixit Bharat uh, by 2047, uh, in the next couple of years, you will have to have one or two years when we will reach double digit growth. And you have to remember that China uh, it reached double digit growth only in the period where they were focusing on housing and infrastructure. So the refocus on our housing and in urban infrastructure, uh, overall infrastructure, may bring us actually from 7.2%. My view is you will uh, maybe in the next two years even touch 10% GDP growth, which will bring us to our target much earlier than 2047. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Niranjan Hiranandani, for speaking with us at Mirror Now and sharing your perspective on this interim budget that has been presented by the Finance Minister.